Hey guys, so today we are answering a subscriber question and the question in question was Frederick, what experience has changed the way that you look at software development? So let's get into it. I have a few of these, so I will give you my favorite one, which was, well, the experience I can give you is very similar to I, I fe it felt like when I, ha when the realization hit, my, hit me, it was very similar to having like a million tiny little needles like sting my brain like not in a painful way it was just I could feel something shift in my brain or maybe it's just me you know but it I, I swear I had a profound realization that really I've I had, I had a physical reaction to this realization so let's see if I can set the setting for this so I've been working for at this time uh, at that point in time I had been working for hmm, could it be say about a year, say two years max, something like that. And I was in this, still this state. I had been, I had been you know, taught good practices within software development and my mindset was completely wired towards this idea, okay, we're right, we, write, we make sure that we write unit tests, we focus on quality, on the, we follow best practice and the main concern that I should have is to write the best damn software that I can because I am a craftsman and my job is to write perfection as much as possible. I mean, I understood that uh, I can't always make everything perfect, but that should be my focus because the success of, for, of my, for my career and for the company and the best thing for everybody is if I really, really, really focus on just providing the best user experience or the best code or the best solution that I can given, also, like, given any opportunity to do so, right? That was my mindset. And then I was working, I was working at this company and I was, I was looking through a few features and we were talking, we were grooming, we we're estimating some stuff. And then I was basically working on this page, right? At this point, I was working with a user experience and there was this really ugly banner that I, that was, it took up a lot of space on the page and I felt that this, I mean, users don't really want to look at this sort of stuff at you know right at this page here I mean they're already kind of in the purchase and they're like kind of do we really have to show that and the main problem I had with it was that it was causing us a lot of issues in time in terms of productivity I mean it was a feature it was a very prime feature it was written in a way where it was very inflexible for us to work with it it was kind of impeding our ability to write good software today because of the decisions that had been made at that time and I was really unhappy with this I you know I sat there and I kind of I do the thing that I always do and I complain a little bit to myself and I sit there and I kind of suck on that a little bit and I'm like, mm, I don't like this, mm -mm, don't like it, no. And then I get into like the really nasty thoughts that I have about the in like in inaptitude of the people who were here before me and they're like, oh, dumb fucker. You know, you, you get into this, you start imagining what they're, how stupid they must have been and like all this good stuff, right? And you judge them. Uh, rather I used to do that anyway and then I kind of get to this point where I finally just bubble over and I go to my boss and I kind of say well, I, why are we doing this like it's such a why is this such a you know I mean why 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 are we doing this like, I mean it's so dumb and like they're so stupid and like the people who pay like the way that they have structured this and they because it's a I mean it's an ad basically they're so dumb blah 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 and I just kind of go off on a tangent there and my boss kind of just look at, looks at me, smiles a little bit and says, well, yeah, yeah, I know, but they paid us a million dollars for it. And I just kind of stood there like, okay, yeah, they paid, they paid us a million dollars to put that thing there. And, and I was like, I just had that, like, he, he kind of shook me there. I was like, okay, all right, I, I will just go over here now. Uh, I'll... I'll I'll, I'll, I'll go over there and I'll sit down back again and start working. And then I just, I just, you know, for, at this time I was actually going on a trip to, I, I was planning a business trip or rather I was going on a business trip. And I, I, during like the following, I think hour, I was kind of, I was in, so I'm like, for me, that, like that answer was like, that was almost like a, it was like blasphemy to every single thing I've had ever believed in as a software developer. It was the big, it was almost like getting a finger in the face from, from a fellow engineer, like, all right. Um, 
But at the same time, you know, it's such a massive figure. I mean, that's what it felt like anyway. It's such a big figure, a million dollars to put something on a page like that. And I, I just kind of sat there and I started clicking through uh, one of the, I was booking my flight to go over to um, the UK or to, to England, London specifically, to make a business visit. And I just sat there and then I just realized I was, as I was clicking through, I mean, they, these ads, like they are absolutely everywhere. And then I clicked through the checkout flow and I'm like, they are bothering me with all this information. Like I tried to just book my flight and all they care, like they want to ask me if I, I'm going to book a hotel. And like they put up all these things that are completely inconsistent and like make my experience as the user such a hassle in comparison to what it needs to be. I mean, I'm a software developer. I know we can build a much nicer like ticket booking system than what's being provided here. I mean, I don't need all of this stuff. I could make this much better. And it just stuck with me. And then I had this, it just clicked in my head. And I realized that the, the goal of my company or rather this company that I was working for and like the goal of most companies is not to build the best product available. They're not after trying to build some type of engineering masterpiece. They are out to make money. That's what it's about. Fundamentally, if the decision stands between economics and engineering, economics always wins. And that might be silly to you, silly to you. but for me it was, it was a, an awakening that was... I'm happy that it happened because I feel like, uh, I, feel like I kind of left the honeymoon period with software development very quickly there, and it just happened over a day, it was like that. And from that point on, it took me a while to get used to it, but I finally started to realize that the biggest limitation I had within my own career was that I, I had focused so much on the coding that I did, and I basically, without thinking about it, had become this kind of code monkey type of person that just had the ability to re-identify good software and know and knew things about writing good software. But I didn't understand how my software and the things that I were do was doing was actually, f how that fit into the big picture of things. I had a very, it was like looking through like a telescope. I was looking at it from, or a microscope. I was just looking at a very, very specific piece of the whole picture. And so I vowed to myself that I would take a step back and start to think, try to, I, I, I will, um, you know, I'm still a programmer, I love my coding, but I, I need to be able to understand the bigger picture to understand how the thing that I am making actually fits into the big picture. Because when I understand that, then I can actually produce the results that I need, and not only for my own career, but also what's right for the company. Because that's, and it all started with that fundamental understanding that what I think my job was about, what I thought my job was about, that's not what my job was about. That was just partly true. And by understanding that, um, understanding that, the mo like, that it's not about me personally writing the best software that I can, it's about me producing, a, basically accommodating a business requirement as well as I can. That's the thing, that's the goal. When I understood that, my entire, like, my entire world just opened up to software development. I started looking at my, my role within IT in a very different manner. So what I want you to take away from this is that the biggest and most profound thing that changed me and my way of thinking about software development was when I went from that honeymoon stage where I thought that everything that I did and like my success in, as a software developer and the success of my company was tied in to how well I could design a product or how well I could write my code when I understood that that's not what it's about. It's about me being able to understand the needs of my business and accommodating that need in the best way possible. In other words, writing the best code possible given the circumstances. Well, that was my profound realization. Have a great day.